Yo right, guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back to the channel. I hope we're all doing great on this glorious Wednesday afternoon. So, um, as usual, we're gonna have a little look at this Conquest magazine, what models we're gonna get, how much money we're gonna save, that sort of a thing, that kind of a thing. So, um, first of all, I'll put the magazine to one side for now. We're getting this Primaris, um, Primaris Captain um, but he's, he's been dyed blue for some reason. Normally he comes in a grey plastic, uh, but for Conquest he's in a blue, that's slightly warped and bent. Hopefully it doesn't affect the actual model itself. Uh, some little key cool features on here, obviously you get, you get two heads. So you get um, a bear head and a Primaris helmet and then you get a plume, which must be on this one. Where's the plume? Oh, there's a plume right next to it. You get a plume of it as well. You get some little cool iconography there. Nice backpack with an iron halo on the top. You get a nice eagle there. And then you get this arm pad. I presume you can stick any of your... Um, <coughs> apologies, guys. You can stick any uh, transfer on there. You get a nice power sword. And then you get a stalker bolt rifle or normal bolt rifle. Or you can, instead of having the sword, you have a pointy hand. You're getting a lovely cape there, which I didn't know was separate from the model. Um, little tabard for the front, which you have to put on anyway because it's got his belt there. Um, and then he's standing on a little bit of a scenic base there. So, as we know, it's £7.99 per week. I've worked out, obviously, full price. This guy is £22.50. So we're saving about £14.51. Now, I've worked out to be approximately 65% saving. That is absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad I, obviously, WH Smith pre-orders mine in each week <clears throat> and they put one away for me. And I did request for them to order me three more. So in total, I would have had four. But for some reason, they only got me an extra one. Um, maybe Hatchet only gave them a set amount to the shop but I was just presuming that they could order as many as they wanted. That's what I was told originally. So we're gonna have a little look at the magazine now. Um, so we've got a bit of information here about Captain Sicarius. Now I wasn't aware of this before I read this little brief bit. He, he's from um, a noble house. I wasn't aware of that. I just thought he was just a general space marine captain who then, you know, was pretty famous. But no, apparently he was from uh, you know, a, a noble house, and he um, raised, climbed the ranks, and became the, the second company commander, which is pretty cool. Um, here's a nice bit of artwork here. That's what he looks like, and that's what his arm looks like, his weapons and whatnot. Um, and it's a bit of information here about how uh, com Space Marine commanders like to uh, attack the foes. And what information here about the demons of Nurgle. <clears throat> so the great and clean one, a little bit of information there. And here's a nice, beautiful bit of artwork from Warhammer third edition rulebook. Now all you old timers will remember this. This is from 1998, this bit of artwork. And look how much it's changed in the years, that to that now. It's changed a lot, but I love seeing this old artwork and it's pretty cool. So this is Age of Mankind. Another nice bit of <clears throat> old fashioned artwork there from 1998. That's when I actually started, well I started in 99. So pretty much third edition was a year old. Um, Battlefield of the Adeptus Destroites. And then how to build your Primaris Captain. So that's when I found out that the cape was separate. So I wasn't aware of that. So pretty straightforward, easy to assemble. I would advise them. Um, not to, not to stick the cape and the backpack on before you paint it because it, it's going to look a little bit tricky getting your, your paint brush up and under there and you're going to go over to your pit on your, onto your blue if you're painting the ultramarines you don't really want that do you guys so um, obviously start off basing an ultramarines blim or should we call it macrag blue now painting your gold your rack art flesh which I'm actually paint mine like this as well, to be honest. And then what else are you doing? A bit more gold, a bit more silver. Abaddon black, which I've not seen that before. 
Picking, you know, the gun pouches black and stuff. <clears throat> and then obviously my fist on red, one of the best reds in, in the industry. Painting your little plume there and your tassels, your bulk gun details, and then Agrax Earth Shade, doing a bit of pin washing there, which is always pretty good to do. I might start doing a bit more pin washing, guys. I've been practicing a little bit more, and uh, it does look better and it's less clean up. It takes more time, but it's less clean up. How to paint your face as well, which is pretty straightforward, and that's what you should look like once you're finished. It's not really hard to attain that, guys, is it really? But it's just a bit of practice, which makes perfect. Uh, Seize the Beacons is the next mission, which is very interesting. Um, and that's obviously how you set it out. And there's your armies, Foul Blight Spawn, 12 Pox, Pox Walkers, Tainted Cohort, Mephysic Blight Hauler, Five Plague Means versus Space Marine Chaplain, Primaris Captain, Five Intercessors, Five Aggressors, and Three Hell Blasters. Uh, your Primaris Captain's stats are up here. So we're getting movement of six, weapon skill and ballistic skill of two plus, which is very good. Strength and toughness of four, pretty decent. Six runes, that's great. Five attacks, so five attacks on that power sword. Leadership 10 and three up save. You also get a four up and vulnerable save due to the iron halo, which is also very good. And that's that. So, this is the Battle of Krylon. So, these are the things that we'll be getting in the future, if you can see that. Let's get a bit of a closer, close look at this picture. So that looks pretty decent to me, in my opinion. Not too bad that does it guys, so um, that's what you can expect in the future. Oh, and you get your little air uh, transmitter tokens here as well. That's cool, so what do we get next week and the week after? We're getting Liberator Gold, Wild Rider Red and Stormhouse Silver. I've got that one and I've used it, never used M2, so I can't wait to use it, you know, pay, want to own them, should we say. And then the following week we start our Plague Burst Crawler collection, so I think this is going to be over three, three separate issues, but you're still saving massive money, guys. Um, so that's that, and thanks for watching. Bit of a short one, I'll be doing this in Ultramarines, what are you guys doing yours in? What army are you collecting again, guys? Can you please tell me? If you fancy it, come and join Peninsula Hobby and Chill. Let, let's see your armies, guys. You know, Let me see what, what you're collecting and what you're painting like. And uh, that's it, really. See you soon, trial.